who was it that went to the FTC at the time, wrote a detailed letter to the FTC and said, you have to understand that when you use a standardized test like this, it's not a measure of what each individual smoker will get. That will depend on how the, they the smoke the cigarette. Illusory and and Philip Morris is the, the one who told the FTC but that back the at the time that the test was adopted. Just issued you guys want to ignore that. A new well, Bob Heim is a gem to the legal community and far beyond, whether it's through his law practice or his pro bono activities. I mean, he is everywhere. I just wish he could clone himself. I don't think he changes at all based on the kind of case or the who the client is. They know what they're getting when, when they retain Bob to work for them, and I think that's what they're looking for. They're looking for the person who is smart, capable, and level-headed, and all those things that we admire in him. He's very special. He has so much on his plate, whether it's through his law practice or his all of his many outside activities. But when you meet with him, he's totally focused on you, on the issues that you both care about. He's always inspiring people to be as good as they can be. He's got impeccable judgment. He can be really tough, but say it in such a diplomatic way that people don't take it against him. I mean, he's really a, a mentor and a role model that way, and he's a really nice guy. He is that quintessential everyman litigator who does, does it all and always has done it all, and I think that Bob views all litigation as problem solving. He is a very, very hands-on, active chair of the Board of Pennsylvanians for Modern Courts. He's also a very active chair of the Board of the Free Library of Philadelphia. So we each think we get 100% of his time, but obviously Deckert and the many cases he works on um, also feel like they get 100% of his time. What I think is most admirable about him is that with all of the litigation he handles, he never seems harried. He never seems in a panic or yelling and, and fussing about things. He is the picture of calm. If you want to get something done in Pennsylvania, Bob is definitely one of the few real go-to people, and that has to do with whether having him argue your case or arguing your position. He really makes a difference in everything he does, and I feel really fortunate to work as closely with him as I have for many years. I always joke that he's the Jimmy Stewart of our office or of the legal profession, because he, sort of, he fits that image of the straightforward, down-to-earth, honest lawyer that people respect and admire and, and can work with.